about three months ago when I was still a keeper for my football academy, I faced a severe bullying problem. I was name called, verbally abused and ignored. I used to be ill-treated by mostly everyone at the academy, but one boy took it too far. He would make fun of me, talk badly about my family and call me poor because I didn't have a car and that remark stuck with me. I eventually snapped and told my coach about this and he simply told me that I was being too sensitive and that I should ignore him. I got my parents to talk to the coach and he said me to leave the academy if I had such a problem and the reason for this unfair treatment is that he happened to come from a wealthy family and his dad was sponsoring the club. When I was searching for new academies, one day I came across an old friend and former opponent, Ryan, at Al Tuapa near my house. I asked him about his academy and to my utter surprise, he said he didn't have any. Now, Ryan was one of the best opponents I've ever faced and seeing him without a club really made me confused. So I asked him what was wrong and the answer he gave was shocking. And turns out my football academy isn't the one, only one that's corrupted. He was recently in one of the best academies in the UAE and one day they had announced a trip to Europe and he signed up. A few weeks passed and he was doing great until the football academy had kicked him out and had given him his money back. And why you may ask? Well, he had gotten kicked out because of his nationality. He was devastated, but there was nothing he could do. Corruption is a huge problem, not only in football academies or Dubai. No, it exists all across the globe and it can affect anyone, you, me, anyone. It should be stopped immediately because it gives an unfair advantage to some people. What is corruption, you may ask? Well, corruption refers to a form of dishonesty or a criminal offence which is undertaken by a person or an organisation which is entrusted in a position of authority in order to acquire illicit benefits or abuse power for one's personal gain. This year's Corruption Perceptions Index or CPI reveals that the corruption levels are at a worldwide standstill. This year, the global average remains unchanged for the 10th year in a row at 43 out of a possible 100 points. Despite multiple commitments, 131 countries have made no progress against corruption. In the last decade, two-thirds of countries scored below 50, indicating that they have serious corruption problems, while 21 countries are at their lowest score ever. Corruption comes in many forms. For example, bribery, accepting something in exchange of a favour, embezzlement, misplacing, stealing or misusing funds, nepotism, favouring family, extortion, using threats to get something, kickbacks, getting illegal rewards, money laundering, making illegal funds come across as legal, fraud, deception for personal gain. So, what kind of actions can we take to stop corruption? We can report any kind of corruption to a person who can take legal action. Do not engage in any form of corruption. Engage, encourage others to stop corruption and not support corruption. Implement laws that work against corruption. By taking these small steps today, tomorrow we can make the world a better place.